this is the MEN, the MEN question. Basically, what they're asking, or they're, fine, they're asking of you, is what type of volts do you get on the earthing system when there's a high resistance neutral or a broken neutral? You, you, you're here to use your voltmeter to determine certain volts on the earthing system, and the rest of the volts will be on the installation. Okay, so let's just prove, first of all, that we have supply coming in. Seven volts. Okay, so those two terminals represent the supply coming in from the street. Okay, so 27 volts so from the street coming in to the main switch. Okay, now um, let's see. One there are three positions here. One position is is good installation where you expect your normal 27 volts to be across um, all the appliances and whatever. Yeah. You don't expect any voltage on your on your uh, earth electrode or water pipe. One volt is tolerable, two volts max. So you're not expecting voltage. Here. That's on a good installation. Let's just see. Um, see if we can find. No breaks, nothing. In fact, from an independent earth, from an independent earth, it's got nothing to do with your earthing system in the house. I should have no no volts on our earthing system. That's just reduced voltage. But it, a good installation, you should not have volts or minimal, absolute minimal volts on your earthing system. And that includes, um, let's see, applying to earth, yeah? And we're at any, any MEN connected earth should have no volts on it. All right? Okay, let's look at a scenario now. We'll put it in two position. I think that might be high resistance. Okay. If we have high resistance in the neutral, you're not going to have all your return current going back via neutral. Some of it says, I now need to go another way. And that's exactly what happens when you have a defective neutral, is you create a parallel path. Some current will want to go back via the main neutral. The rest of it says, oh, I'll, I like that MEN link. So I go via the MEN link through your main earth electrode, and it then tries to, the current is endeavouring to come back to the start point of your training. That's what's happening. Once you have a broken neutral or high resistance neutral, you've created a parallel path for current. Therefore, uh, your voltages on the installation change. Okay? And as you put more load on, you reduce the resistance and then affect the, the current and, and because it's proportional to the voltage, your voltages will proportionally be altered between the appliances and your earthing system. So if I have 150 volts here, the rest of the voltage will reflect on your earthing system, 80 volts. Let's just see here, with one circuit in, and the high, let's look at the high resistance, we've got 21 volts there. Already we've gone from 27 to 21. That, what that means is your appliances in your house may not work efficiently or effectively, or not work at all. Notice that, so really, why am I getting the same voltage across all my appliances? Because, oh, that's not turning on. Um, same, 
same line across. Is there a, all running in parallel? Are you wire your house in parallel? Okay, look at this scenario. We put more load on, more load on, we put an oven on and then we put say hot water service on. Look what's gonna happen here. We're down to 17 volts. Now what is now reflected on the on the earthing system? Have a look. From the known earth, you should have the rest. Nine volts, yeah, about nine, nine and a half. We use the independent earth because we, this is faulty. The independent earth is a totally uh, earth location apart from the installation. And you'll be required to use an independent earth to prove voltages to your earthing system. Does that make sense? Yeah. You never use the faulty installation earth. It must be independent. So now you can see two lo loads on, two circuit breakers are on. We've got now um, nine or so volt, nine and a half volts on our earthing system. Look, even the frame. And if you're gutters and water pipes are connected to your earth, you get the same volts. Your meter box will have the same. And the greater the voltage, the current then too is reciprocal, and that's where the danger comes. So the greater the voltage, that's the greater the greater risk of um, severe shock. Put more load on, and again we drop we drop current uh, sorry voltage across our down to about 14.6 and the rest of it reflects on the earthing system. Yeah, so we've got there. Yeah, I'm connected. Oh, sorry, guys. There you go. So about 11 volts. So virtually from 27 volts across there in the load, we've gone down to 14, 15, and now we've got 11 volts from the independent earth to the, the earthing system, and it should be about one volt or less. All right, that's that scenario. I think this is in the off, that's total break in the neutral. The worst scenario is break of neutral, mains box neutral out, or something totally disconnected, and heaps of load on. So put one bit of load on there and we get we get and we get there. So you got eighteen volts and the rest will reflect on the on the earthing system here. Yeah? Eight volts. Oh I'll just go one more step and I do that's a total break. All circuits are in. Look what we have on the installation there. 11 volts from 26 to 11, you know, that's, that's quite a bit. So if we have 11.3, what should we have on the earthing system? About 15, 16? Yeah. Let's just see. Yeah, well, 15.4. So anywhere on the earthing system. Okay, so basically what you've got to understand is what happens when we have a break or a high resistance neutral. In fact, you can run a whole installation, I've said it before, without a neutral. If you have a very low earth resistance, your, your ground has a very low resistance, sometimes installation can work without a neutral. It's only when a plumber breaks that earth the current return current that that's when he experiences shock and he brings up the power company and we discover it's a broken neutral. So it really depends how that earth with the active sorry the current return goes back to the training. How good our earth medium is, how good the resistance is.